Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're working on these two nightstands that I found at a thrift store. I thought they were $20 for both, but they ended up being $20 each, but I decided to get them anyways because they're in pretty good condition. They have a few chips in the veneer and a bit of wear and tear, but the drawers work great and they're structurally in great condition, so we're going to have some fun with them. So let's get them cleaned up. First thing I do is flip them on their back side and we clean up the cobwebs on the bottom and any dust down there We really want to get rid of that because you don't want any critters running around your, your place I also number each nightstand and each drawer Also when you're cleaning the insides of furniture, you never know what you're gonna find so in this one I found a I think it's a horse racing bedding book so that was pretty funny it's from 1984 so probably been in there for a little while and also this piece of mail from 1981 so i'm sure they've been in there for quite some time anyways i'm using a pencil here in my level just to make a little line here we're going to be adding a new base and i'm using limited tools <laughs> Keep in mind I'm working inside my apartment so I have to choose the quietest tools so that means no power tools but here's what the base looks like after compared to before. I did complete the second base as well but I didn't get that on camera but anyways let's get this hardware removed and move on. Now it's time for a deep clean with some crud cutter. After a good cleaning, I'm going to use some wood filler just to fill in any noticeable cracks and chips. If you guys enjoyed my furniture makeover videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks! Before sanding, it's never a bad idea to throw on a dust mask. So now we're actually adding some 
tape in the back groove so we don't have any paint get in there because we're actually going to be staining that later on so it'll look pretty cool so enjoy the process of taping After a decent amount of time, I finally finished all four drawers. Then I taped up the base section as well because we will be standing back too. And let's not forget the side of the drawers to get that crisp paint line on the sides. It looks a lot better. I'm going to be priming this piece with the Dixie Belle Boss. This stuff goes on pretty easily, so just grab a brush or a roller and just apply it. This Dixie Bell Boss stuff is pretty thick, so it should hide and block any stains, which is great, but you wanna be careful when applying it. You don't want any brush marks, so you wanna feather it out at the end like I'm doing. So after you do your pass through to get all the paint on, you just do one more top to bottom, feather it out so the lines all match and they're not too thick. So just a little tip. I let the primer completely dry before coming back and getting started on the sanding process to make it as smooth as possible. After sanding and adding another paint of coat, you really want to use a tack cloth to wipe up any dust so that doesn't appear in your painted surface and cause any bumps along the way as well. So I, I like to use tack cloths. Now onto the paint, we're using Fusion Mineral Paint in Bedford. This color is pretty cool and I think it's going to look really nice on these nightstands. So enjoy the painting process.
Now it's time to peel that tape up. We did have a few issues with peeling the tape up, but don't worry, we will touch those areas up later. I also used frog tape. That is like the best painter's tape I find. It really makes a straight, smooth line. So if you're gonna be using any painter's tape for furniture projects, I recommend using frog tape. I do my best to clean up as much paint that is around the edges that might look a little uneven, but I do do what I can, right? All right, let's get started on staining these bases and then we will move on to the drawers. I'm using Varathene Gel Stain in Kona. It's really, really dark. It's probably one of their darker stains, but we're gonna throw it on here now and see what it looks like. To add the gel stain in the back, I'm not going to wipe it on because I'd make a mess and get it all over the paint, but I'm just going to use a brush and take my time going around. I do accidentally rub up on the outside a bit, but then I just rub it in and we'll touch up some paint over those areas later on anyways. I'm using Dixie Belle clear coat in satin and I'm using a paint brush just to apply it over the gel stain right now. The reason I'm doing that is because I did let the gel stain dry for quite some time, but it still can be tacky, so if you use a foam applicator, I could risk rubbing the gel stain on the foam applicator and then all over the paint, so I wanted to throw at least one coat of poly over the gel stain. And then I can come back with the foam applicator without any worries. I then went around carefully with the paintbrush and touched up any areas that the stain either came up or the paint peeled off. Now it is time to add the Dixie Belle clear coat with the foam applicator pad. It's pretty simple. I just dab the pad on and then scrape it off on the corner of the bowl that I use and just go back and forth the surface that you're applying it on. I prefer to spray poly, but I can't do that inside anymore at the moment. So I find the foam applicator pad is the second best option, but the trick here is to not add too much poly on your foam applicator pad because too much will cause drips. I find a thin amount is perfect and it makes a nice thin coating and then you can just do it multiple times. After three coats of poly, we move on to the hardware. So I'm gonna be reusing this hardware since it's all there and I think it's pretty decent stuff. So we're just gonna scuff it up and we're actually gonna paint it black.
after two coats of black spray paint, I throw on some clear coats so they are durable and last a long time. Now let's peel off any remaining tape. Look how crisp that line is. Nice and beautiful. And now let's add on the new black hardware. Highly recommend an electric screwdriver. Thank you, Sabs Rehabs. Before finishing up, we're going to clean out these drawers and we're going to use Big Mama's Butter in Orange Grove by Dixie Bell. This is like a scented wax you can apply on the inside of your drawers to rejuvenate them. And it smells really nice and it makes the drawers look nice. And finally, we're all done. Let's take a look at these nightstands one more time before. And here's what they look like after. I really liked how these nightstands turned out. I hope you guys did too and enjoyed the full makeover process. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching everybody and I'll catch you in the next video.